Welcome back everyone. Uh, this video is going to be about uh, connecting my Apple Silicon to Firewire devices, specifically video devices. I don't have sound devices and I'm not going to get involved in that. I just want to find out whether um, this new laptop can still, running the latest version of Ventura, can still connect up to Firewire devices like this 20 year old JBC deck, H, uh, VHS deck, this beta, I think it's around 25 year old, could even be older. I've got a 15 year old Canon, um, uh, what is it, it's a HV30, and behind it there is a Panasonic NVDX100, which is, I think both of those cameras are getting around the 20. Actually, no, that's 15-year-olds and that, that one's 20-year-old. So we're going to go and try them all out. And look, rather than keep you waiting, the answer is yes, it works. It actually surprised me. It <laughs> seemed to be more stable, connected to this Apple Silicon running the very latest operating system than this old 2010 iMac, right, which is, it's got a natural firewire port in the back. I mean, so if you want the quick answer, um, I started testing this. It worked, but um, there were, there, I had dropouts, all sorts of issues. My 2015 MacBook Pro, it worked better. But still, every now and then there'd be a, uh, an issue. Um, oh, by the way, this is using Final Cut Pro on all of the devices. So obviously that was a very old Final Cut Pro. On the 2015, it's a more recent. And then the very latest Final Cut Pro on Ventura on this machine, it surprised me. It connects without a problem, seems to be more stable. I can't explain it because apparently Apple gave up supporting Firewire some years ago. The only thing I can think about, the only thing that the only thing that that occurs to me is that the protocol was fairly well formed, and that um, because of the bandwidth that you've got in these machines now, that it's a cleaner communication protocol on the more modern machines than it was on the older ones. In respect, to, it's a packet technology, so it means that the the data packets can flow better. That's 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 I, I can't prove it. That's just something that I um, I'm assuming. Anyway, let's um, let's do some testing. All set up. So what do you need to get this to work? For starters, you're going to need a USB. To display port adapter and then you need a display port adapter to firewire and then you join those two together put your firewire sorry put your usb uh, connector into a usb port and then your firewire connect uh, cable which i've got coming out at the moment from the bottom of this deck here goes into that cable there. So what we're going to do first is test a VHS tape. So we'll turn the deck on. Okay, I'll just move those out of the way so we can see what's going on. I've got these prepared for other work, other little jobs. Okay, so that's, at the moment, that's, that deck is now on. We'll now put a VHS tape in. Okay, now if I go to capture, instantly the JB, uh, HRD, DBS2 device, which is this, is recognized straight away. Now if I start playing the tape, as you can see, and the, the image appears, I can push the input button and it is now capturing. I'll just turn that down. That is now importing an old VHS uh, 
image from the tape straight onto um, this MacBook Pro in ProRes. And as I said, the surprising thing about what I just did was that if I attempted to do that with the old iMac here, um, it would be hit and miss. Sometimes it would take, sometimes it wouldn't. Sometimes I'd have to turn the machine off, reboot, get it operational. Where with the latest, um, you know, um, MacBook Pro, <laughs> that is running Firewire without a problem, and it sees the devices. And just for the record, and we haven't got time to do this on this test, but um, I, I've already performed this test. I ran that tape for two hours and captured a full two hour without a problem. No issue whatsoever. So I think we'll stop that at the moment. So we'll stop import, stop the tape. And if we go into the project, as you can see, there is the captured, look, look at that. <laughs> so there's the first test. Now let's try the Canon HV30. Let's try that one. So we'll turn the deck off. Now, what I've done here, I actually have this, this, this cable that's connected over here is actually this cable. So what I'm going to do, we'll bring the little machine over here and we'll plug that into the DV port. This was actually one of the original tapes that I recorded on this on this machine. It was a trip I did to China some years ago. This this was shot in um, in HD. Okay, now we'll push that over onto the tape. Now one of the I don't know if you aware of this but um, with firewire with proper firewire devices like this cameras like this unlike the the old deck um, because you're doing a, a conversion from a um, an old analog tape internally to the firewire this communicates not just it doesn't not only just captures the actual video it communicates with the camera now you watch this so uh, we got capture and uh, hey presto, there it is. Hey presto tape. Now, if I just it, go import, it will start playing. It takes a few seconds. Oh, noted. Uh, oops, I know. Oh, sorry. There's okay. Interesting thing. If you put a tape in that doesn't have any data there, and I know why. I forgot to rewind the tape. So, notice that I'm actually rewinding the tape. So, there's a if there's no data on the tape, you're going to come up with that no data message on the screen. Um, so, I'm going to have to wait until this uh, rewinds. Now, if I go import, it will actually start playing the video. And here we go. There's the image. That was the day I went up to the Buddha Mountain in a, uh, a city called Jinan in, uh, in uh, China. That was a fascinating trip. I'm going to do a video on that soon. But anyway, getting back to the firewire, as you can see, um, again, it, it worked perfectly. Everything it should do it was supposed to do, it controls the camera, it recognised there was no data, it gave me a warning, um, it's capturing the video, <laughs> you know, it's, um, it just stuns me that this new machine with the latest operating system and the latest version of Final Cut Pro is working flawlessly with 20 year old, well, 20 plus year old protocol. Anyway, okay, let's stop that for the moment, stop import, 
done. Come back here, and as you can see, now the one thing that um, I want to explain something. Um, you'll notice that there's a whole series of files here. One of the things about Firewire capturing um, of digital files is that if you stop and start the camera, it will create a new scene. So it'll where you started recording and then stopped, it's going to give you that, you know, as a capture. Now you can grab these, put them down on the timeline, join them together without any problems whatsoever. So I think that'll do that one for the moment. So we'll check that tape. Close that. Now if I would go back into import, it's no longer there. It's gone. We'll put that back up there temporarily and then we'll bring this down. This was a brilliant camera in its time. And uh, I haven't fired it for some time, so this will be an interesting test. Let's have a look. Open it there. It's been so long since I've used this machine, I've almost forgotten. There it is. Girls and boys. Look at that. It fired up. <laughs> um, I'm going to stop. I'm going to rewind. Look at that, will you? <laughs> I mean, that is incredible. And there we go. So again, if I push the import button, it'll start playing. And here we go. There's Burrell. So we... We've now got there's three separate very old firewire devices for video capture which um, we've just tested out and as I said they have been flawless and as I said I'm sorry to repeat this but I really want to stress this when I performed this test on this old machine which is has native firewire built in it was hit and miss. On the 2015 uh, MacBook Pro, it was better. But every, it there would still be, um, sometimes you'd plug it in and you wouldn't see the devices and, and you'd either have to unplug them, power off, power them back up and, and do it. <laughs> All the tests I've done, and, and I've done a lot more tests rather than what we've just done here today, this has not missed a beat. So I hope to hell that um, Apple do not mess with this in respect to um, you know, further um, advancements on their operating system because I'm wrapped about this. So anyway, um, I think that'll do. I um, hope this has been of some service to you and um, until next time, see you later.